she uh, is the victim of a homicide. A sadistic murder. This was the most hideous, sickening crime scene that, that I'd ever seen. She died as a result of multiple stab wounds. This was a particularly vicious homicide. A police investigation that seems as mysterious as the crime. Who killed Kathleen Heisey? This kind of behavior in a crime scene often derails investigations because it is so shocking and it is so unusual that uh, investigators often tend to put too much attention to it. Okay. And it detracts from what is the most likely explanation. According to Detective Absher from Bakersfield PD, Kathleen Heisey was known to frequent the VIP lounge. So Bill is telling me you've worked here at the VIP lounge for 35 years. Uh, 37 years. It uh, opened in 76, and I started to work here in 83. OK, we're looking into an unsolved case from 1998. Having the forensic, the CSI, and the investigative skill sets, I'm able to kind of draw upon a broad, you know, broad amount of knowledge in order to apply that to any particular case I decide to go and investigate. Now, in, in 1998, this unsolved case, uh, the victim's name was Kathleen Heisey. So going back to Mr. Brown, my question would be, how does he know her? One of the difficulties that I have in linking him to Kathleen is the fact that uh, Kathleen's purse was found emptied in the hallway bathroom. However, there's $270.25 in the wallet. I have a difficult time imagining him seeing that money and leaving it there. Olivia Lavoie, is a case, she has a case that she's very familiar with, and that's the Kathleen Heisey case that Bakersfield PD has been investigating for quite some time. I've spoken with Olivia. She has great knowledge about that case, um, and Bakersfield PD and their lead investigator have allowed me to come in and work with them to see if we can't advance that case forward with the hope of solving it.